Aloha class. So just a reminder about the previous problem for 7-2. Make sure that we do total up the total for the quarter, right? And so for April, May, and June, we have the total for the quarter, total, total amount of cash collections, and we can sum those up, and that would be our final answer for the quarter. Moving on to 7-3, this is the budgeted sales, right? And so we want to budget how much sales we're going to have, but also have a safety, right? We want to have a little bit of extra stock in hand so we don't stock out every um, quarter. So if we have a little more sales than expected, then we have some on hand. Um, so we want the end of month inventory levels must equal 10% of the following month sales. And um, the inventory at the end of March was 5,000 units. Prepare a production budget for the second quarter in your budget show the numbers of units to be produced each month. Right? And so this is the information they gave me. And then they said this 5,000, remember the March end ending, ending inventory was 5,000 units. Oh, ending inventory. Um, so remember that our ending inventory at one month, you know, at 11.59 p.m. on March 31st will become our beginning inventory um, at April 1st, you know, 12.01 a.m. right so just our ending inventory becomes our beginning inventory and so the textbook gives you this format sales and units minus our or add our desired ending inventory of finished goods plus our beginning inventory of finished goods so our beginning inventory was our ending inventory for March now becomes our beginning April inventory which is that 5,000 right and so we, and they said we wanted 10%, 10% of the following month's sales. So um, I not only need to cover this 5,000 units of sales, but I need to have additional amount of units on hand just to be safe, right? Just to be safe so we don't stock out and so we have enough product. And they said we're going to calculate 10% of the following month's sales. So the following month, right? This is all going to be 10% of the following month. And I could put a note in here if I wanted to you know, 10% of the following month sales, right? And I could make this a little larger, right? So 10% here, 10% of this amount, 10% of the following month, 10% times it by following month, and I could even copy this over, right? And so um, it looks like um, for April, I need 7,500, I need 9,000 and 8,000 for the following month. So this is, I'll calculate everything that I need. I need the sales that I think I'm going to have and then 10% of the following month on hand. So I can sum those up. And remember we're doing quarter two, which is January, February, March is quarter one in a traditional year or traditional year end, April, May, June. So this is the quarter that I'm worried about right here. And so this ending inventory for March now becomes my beginning inventory and that can help fulfill my production needs, right? So this can help me fulfill production needs um, and lessen the amount that I need. And so we're gonna take that out, right? And so we are gonna need to produce 52,500 units. Right? And we'll take, we'll follow that formula. Oh, production needs, right? So where do I get the following month's ending, beginning inventory of finished goods? Well, I had this ending at 1231, you know, 1230, excuse me, or 12, no, 1159 on April 30th, excuse me, 1159 on April 30th becomes my May first 1201 a.m. inventory right so this is going to pull down hopefully that makes sense there's arrows in the book your ending inventory at the end of march now becomes our beginning inventory and can help fulfill our needs um, for our production which is our safety safety stock and our sales and units this can help fulfill it so we will minus or subtract that number to help fulfill our production needs and again, we'll pull this number down. We can pull this number down as well um, and copy this formula over. So for April, May, and June, we're gonna need to produce this many number of units, but we also like to do a total for the month. And we could sum that across.
and make sure that formula is working out fine. Yeah, so this is what they're looking for, a production budget in units. We know the amount that we're going to need to produce for April, May, and June for second quarter.